school. Hey everybody, I'm Pete Fleury, the regional Pro station basketball. manager of the BNR. Dot com quarter. network, part of the, the Omni Media are School Board, Lombard Campus, Vipers, and Chicago. Vipers, 52 to 47. Uh, but Josh, I've been part of the Omni Media School family now to look forward to here in the second half. The Vipers have had very bounced scoring, led by Karan Lynn with 14, followed by Isaiah Fleming with 10, University. Jared Foster with 8. And Johnny Baldwin and Austin Stewart have six apiece, while a majority of the Fury scoring has come from Juan Brown, who has 23 at half. And even more specifically, it's come from, the, from behind the arc. Yeah. Uh, a lot of that ground that they made up and took the lead with was based off of those three-pointers. Grab so. that statue over there. Is that ours or theirs? This Somebody. is theirs. This is the, the Furies. No, this is ours. That's our stats, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I don't know, sir. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. I'm going to count these threes off. So we had there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They hit nine threes in the first half. Incredible, incredible shooting by the Fury. But the Vipers are still only down five because they have this great, and, and great ability to attack the basket and are relentless on the offensive boards. It's beautiful to see. There's 30 seconds taken down on the clock, and we are about to get underway here in the second half. Karan Linton was inspiring in the first quarter, coming up with 12 points, chipped away with two more in the second quarter. Isaiah Fleming was a madman on the loose in the second quarter, having three or four offensive rebounds and contributing 10 total points. And uh, while you were settling that debacle, <laughs> um, I was just saying that the, according to the stat sheet, they hit nine threes in the first half. Some of them very obnoxious. Most of them very obnoxious. <laughs> that's, that's that's one of the things that the Vipers can hang their hats on. They're they're facing deficit right now, but a the five. shots that they were down, that they were uh, allowing, I guess you could say, because they weren't really with hands in the face and, and solid rotation. Uh, you got to just hope some of those shots don't fall, and some more of yours do fall by take, continuing to be aggressive. Take this into consideration. You're down three automatically to start the game due to technicals. They hit ridiculous threes. They've even hit a couple ridiculous twos. Mm -hmm. Got bailed out by a couple foul calls. There's no doubt in my mind this could be a ten. 10, 12 point game in the Vipers' favors if a few other things don't go their way, but it's not, that doesn't mean you can't stick the course and come away with a victory. And I think that's the most uh, encouraging thing you see, you saw from the Vipers in the first half is at no point did they get outside of themselves. They stuck with their game plan, stayed trying to get to the basket, draw, draw the fouls, be physical on defense. That's what you'll have to see again in the second half. Yep, and balanced scoring. So it looks like the Fury are going to start off with the ball here. Johnny Baldwin has to sprint into position, but all right, the man doesn't take advantage. Oh, says deflected by Isaiah. Take it to the replay. Yeah. <laughs> we do have replay available if you do need it. Oh, Take the that time would out be, to well, ask. Do you think that would be an ABA first? Honestly, let me know. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, man, they would not be That's thrilled. That's the last thing they want to stop it to go look at something real quick. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Finally got one to fall, but again, you'll still you'll live with him taking taking awkward off balance shots. It was a beautiful move in the paint, but yeah, he's he's not shooting very well, so. You'll live with it. Yeah, Derek Scott cutting to the rim there, calling for it. If anybody would have saw him, that was an easy two. Yep. Viper sometimes have to worry about just getting it over half court. Just to, oh, good oh. bounce pass below. Oh, oh and he good met defense him. Defense by the Fury. Number four is having himself a hell of a game. Yep. And look who's over there in the corner. Nope. He settles it down. Doesn't choose chooses not to shoot. Oh, good D oh. by Derek Scott. Oh, and he hands it off. Number 24 trying to get position on Big Austin Stewart. Ooh, it's a great cut. Good job. Good job of letting him get the shot. That's a foul you take. You, yep. you live with it. Didn't let him get his arms above his head. Nothing easy. Nothing easy. I like that mentality here. That's What do you think that is, Coach? I'm, just I'm, I'm, at I'm wondering the same thing. I'm looking with a, uh, I had a, a bit of a dumbfounded face on. You'd be proud of your players if they did that. Just trying to figure out what the complaint is here. But, so, you know, I mean, it just as a coach, like you got to defend your team. We all complain. So, <laughs> Anthony Knoll steps to the line. Beyonce's third cousin. Ah, finally got back on. I mean, you just don't run into the opportunity that many times, so I'll just make the claim. <laughs> and if I'm somehow right. <laughs> it's got to be. Add it to the, the book. Long, yeah. Add it to the book. Somewhere in the lineage. Line again. Two. One thing the Fury do do well is shoot the free throw. My goodness. They may have missed just one. Yeah, they, they do. They, the they are one in the technical thing. <laughs> Johnny Baldwin pounding the ball on the floor. Jared Foster 
demanding the ball. Oh, Derek Scott looking for it. Ooh. Derek. Uh. Good defense. Oh, and this foul is called. Foul on Derek Scott. And the Fury are going to the line for two. All right, now this is this is where the Vipers need to be careful. Fury are coming out being a little bit more aggressive than they were in the first half. The Vipers got to make sure that they are the ones dictating the tempo and the tone of this game. Couldn't have said it better myself. Because it seems like the way this going, the game is going, the Vipers always seem to answer at the end of quarters. So it would be, well, okay, that wasn't out of bounds? That this is the type of stuff that I'm saying the Fury have been getting all night, man, those rolls that they're not supposed to get on, on your home floor. Ah, well. Ooh. 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 Derek Scott lobs one. Wild there. shot. That's the second time he's thrown that wild behind the back. Oh, Juan Brown sets Pressing. the seat. You know, sometimes when you don't get in the game early as you want or don't make the impact you want, you can find yourself trying to do too much to get back in the swing of things and assert yeah. your presence. Go, go, go. Good rebound. Let's see what they get here. Johnny Baldwin sets it up. Oh, feeds Austin Stewart. Feeds Fleming, who sets his feet, fires short. Good board by Derek Scott. And that's what you like to see, too. When the, when the shot's not falling, do the other thing. Bring your yep. game around some other way. Oh, Pro my. by Baldwin. Oh, Can't my. get it to go. You'd love to see that fall. Yeah. Ooh. From injury. Oh, nope. He Plank. was limping. You got to you gotta get aggressive. Put a body on him. Oh. Didn't call it. Derek Fitz. Wide open. Feet. Oh, oh, see? That's gets a good the shot. Oh, come on. Too soon. And not he enough just, he strength. He was like, I'm just too open. Yeah. You got to go up with some, with some authority there. They're not going to let you have it. And a chippy foul for Juan Brown. Who was that even on? We don't even have From a third. JB. Oh, number eight. So Juan Brown stepping to the line. Thor the Fury, Ish and uh, Asante Dixon set to check in. A first for Asante tonight. Hopefully a little difference here can inspire the Vipers. Head coach of the Fury, rather animated this evening. Per usual. He's a very animated throw character. Line. As we made note of earlier, the Vipers got to be careful not to let the, the Fury become the more aggressive team, the more physical team here. The Vipers were living off of that in the first half. They got to continue if they want to get this W and come yep. back. Stolen, we got 3D light in effect. Good pass with a no look. You got to get this shot here. You got to get this shot here. Yep, set your feet and fire. Good recognition by Isaiah to know that he needs to get the ball out of his hands and get it to one of his guards. Yep. Another good pass. The 3D is in effect. This could be a big bucket here. Ooh! The no look. Oh, gets stripped. Says it's out on the Fury. If for the fans that do not know, the 3D rules, if you turn it over in the backcourt uh, and the other team gets it, then the two becomes a three and the three becomes a four. And you know, and earlier on the season, the Vipers were losing games and it was largely due to, their, to the 3D being, uh, uh, excuse me, the 3D light played a, a big factor in those, those defeats. Yep. I mean, it could turn, you know, a lead or a deficit into much, much more. I mean, Vipers need to learn, use, figure out a way to use it in their advantage. And this is a great time to start. Yeah, everybody's aware of how deadly the three-pointer can be when it's hot, when it's going. Imagine that, that, that I think that's more. Isaiah oh, Fleming Isaiah with the big three-pointer. There you go. Getting an easy layup in the paint. You can, just feel the, you can just feel the energy come back. That one shot capitalizing on opportunity. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a foul. You still live with that. I don't, I'm not necessarily sure I agree, but I'm not making the calls. But you live with that. That was solid defense, not giving up an easy bucket by the basket.
getting chippy here. Oh, oh 33. Austin. Getting a little chippy out stay there. Stay cool, stay cool. That's the one thing about these games. When you do get physical, that's what happens. Yeah. Oh, a lot geez. of testosterone and energy going on right now. <laughs> 8.25 remaining here in the third period. Fury to throw it in. Oh, tipped away. Ishmael with the hands again. Very active on the defensive end. Oh, make him do too much. Number four. Juan. That man has been on fire all night. Viper's got to get out to him quicker than that. Yeah. Got to keep an eye on him. Daibawa gets trapped. Foul on Johnny Baldwin. Oh. Wow, so interesting call there. Foul. And the Vipers are in, mo and the Fury are in motion, stroked it. Not sure I saw oh, wow. any of that. Wow, yeah, that would have been bad. Oh, look, Juan Brown, oh there's that man. Oh he my gosh, that shot is just nasty. It's the right second now. bank of the evening. I'm still wondering about that foul call that, the, that she called. So we have a media timeout. Okay, so this game is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Just remember folks, eat more chicken. Well, Half time we had the cow out here taking pictures with the kids. Beautiful, and a dance party going on over there. Yes, yes. Very yes. exciting. So that was a potential game turner right yes, there. Yes, that quarter. Uh, no, that, that moment. That um, was an odd, an odd happening. Sequence of events. 59-50. Vipers just got off the 3D rule. Easy bucket for three. Then Juan Brown sticks a three. Johnny Baldwin gets called for a charge. Thankfully, just over the half court line because the next, next shot proceeded by Juan Brown. He banks in a three. And just like that, it's a 15-point deficit. Plenty of time here remaining in the third period here at John T. McGee Middle School. Fury down, your Vipers are down by 15, but they have to hunker in defensively and get some stops and start making life far more uncomfortable for still, the Fury. We're still halfway in the third quarter. Still a lot of time left, so Vipers got to make sure they keep their heads in this and, and not let the Fury do what they're trying to do, which is take them out of their game plan. Yeah. Breon Cooks checks in for the Vipers. Fury put a bigger guard on JB, try to slow him down. Corner. Ish for three. Ah. Can't get it to go. And the Fury run it up. We've had moments like that uh, oh, a lot Ron. throughout the season where guys are taking threes and they look good, but they're just not falling. It's it's yeah. it's been a, a hard knock season that way. Brian Cooks for three, ah, just short. Good rebound. Isaiah Fleming, Fleming with puts the it soft in. touch. Way to be on the boards. Oh, Zay, it ain't so. Good one, good one, all right. I'm gonna have to write that one down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to write that one down. All right, here come the Fury. Vipers just trying to stay alive in this one. They need to put together a few stops. Dig in, dig in yeah. deeper. Wow, you, you big live man with, with the that. triple. You live you with that. You want that, you request that. That's one way to put, oh. Find Ish on the cutter. Ishmael. With the finish at the cup, take to the nice back. roll. Another Follow. foul on Austin Stewart. Frustration seems to be setting in. Coach calls him to the side, get his head back in the game. Hey, get back on defense. That actually might have been a blessing in disguise. Slow the pace down. Yep. This might have been a blessing in, in disguise for the Vipers. They are, the Vipers are one foul away from the bonus though. Oh my. Just muscles his way down low. Muscles his go. way down. Here low. we go. Okay, so are we getting a call here or what? Oh, 
Jared Foster checks in for Stewart. Frustration, frustration setting in. It's gut check time. Yep. You know, you came out and they punched you in the mouth, so now you gotta, you gotta punch back. There you go, Isaiah. Ah. Timeout taken by the Fury. 6-10 remaining here in the third period. Fury up by 13. Surrounding the ref here. A lot of action at the tables right now. Good point. Very. So. Viper's got to come out now. Main focus, regain focus. I Get the ball myself. back. Get the ball back. One stop at a time, one possession at a time. There's plenty of time. One thing you don't want to do is let this team get comfortable and find their groove. Because that will lead to unfortunate events. I tell you what. So 3D for White. I'm not quite sure what for. Yeah, how, how again? Well, so they have the they have the 3D rule for whatever reason. So, we'll love an explanation there, but here come the Fury, bringing it up. Oh, there goes the big man, just Defeat throwing his body up into foul. Offensive foul. Cut the light, poor favor. That big man just thinks he can throw all of his weight into it. I'd be drawing fouls every time. Listen. Flop. Listen, it, the game's ebbs and flows. It's flopping. Do it. People may frown upon it, but I'd do it. <laughs> I'm not against it. It's not flopping when you sell it right. Exactly. <laughs> it's when, only flopping when you get caught. Yep. Oh. Ish. Oh. A little bit stripped. reckless. Seems to get, seems one ref to get calls it for the Fury, one ref calls it for the Vipers. We're going to have a conference on the floor. Tee him up for swearing, what the heck? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yes, I just acknowledged that, Coach. Viper's trying to fight back now. Yep. Down by 13. Swim throws it. Oh, good it finish. Isaiah. Isaiah flips. flips it home for the easy dose. Defense. I might put that one on there for the call. You got to get it out of his hands. <laughs> yep. Flop. Sell it. You make him take that tough shot. There, there you go. go. There you go. Oh. One, ah, there you go. Way to stay with it, Ishmael. Yep. That's all Breon, right. corral Take it. Time. Everybody oh, slow Breon. down. Fire it up there. Good! God! Breon God. cooks for three! 67-59. Five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Woo. Up court. Nice passing. Woo! Oh, he, he takes it. it. Oh, nothing! Another jag! Breon Subs with Breon in. in his veins. He didn't just throw all of his weight into our guy, though. Okay, Breon. Okay, Breon, good effort there. 24 needs to cool it out, man. He just threw all, all whatever he weighs into him. That was insane. That's how the rest are calling. The Vibers got to answer back on the other end. They want to put their big out there, you make him run. Oh, oh I'd make him run. Oh, good defense. Oh, good gets, defense. Johnny Butler. Good push. Good job getting it out of there. Finds Karan. Good job. Slashing to the rack. That's all right. Can't get it to go. You got four guys down. Oh, oh. board. Throw it up there. Draws the foul. It's okay, though. It's okay. Vipers fighting back here in the third quarter. Down by eight. Got a foul on Dejari Nelson. Viper ball underneath. Ishmael to throw it in. Jared Foster finds it, kicks it back out to JV. Iron Man Baldwin. Has he come off the floor yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Between him and Foster. Oh, Linton. Good pass. Kicks in the corner. Ish. Big three. Ah, oh, 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 good rebound. Iron Man. Oh! What was that? 
called the foul on Karan. I'm Carano. sorry, I'm so confused. She called the foul on Karan on the floor. Karan held. Oh. I thought I was on Johnny, so that's my fault. Got a little side to understand. Baffled. He just <laughs> took that moment. It was perfectly rebounded. It's the and ones you don't see. And oh, and they're at the line with that the one. Line. Dejari Nelson going to the line for a two. We need some noisemakers in here. How do we uh, short? This is the first one. Yep. Box out here. Got to get this rebound. You cannot let them get a second chance at this. Nothing but net. It's okay. You can trade twos for two for ones. That's fine. Push it. Got to get it up above that timeline. He's got him back on his heels. Oh. Johnny Baldwin surveying his options. Fury getting a little extra coaching from the sidelines. That's out of bounds on them. Isaiah with the dribble. And offensive foul. And we're going to be having a media timeout. Tonight's game is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Eat more chicken. Fury 68, Vipers 59. Four, 358 remaining here in the third period. Josh, it's, what is going on? There's still so much time left that I, I, I'm not sure if the, the Vipers are quite aware that the tempo and the pace of the game will make you feel like you have to press a little bit more. When you look at that clock and see how much is left, they just got to stick with their game plan, keep driving towards the, 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 driving towards the cup, and finish in place. Keep communicating on defense, rotate out to those shooters because it seemed like they might have cooled down slightly. Uh, force it into their bigs, make them take off balance shots. But first and foremost, you got to maintain your physicality. That was what got you as close as it did in the first half. You got to keep it up in the second half because as game wears down, whoever can be tougher longer is going to be yep. victorious. This game's within reach. Nine points is nothing in any league, honestly. Especially with the 3D light available. Yep. So we just, you just got to create a little pressure. Stay within your means. Don't glad, force the issue. I'm glad you brought that. That's one thing I would like to see them do a little bit more is, is, is have a little bit more pressure up the court. And it seems that they're doing so right now. So They, they love to shoot. So yes. I would make them uncomfortable. Yes, the they're, whole time. They shooter, can't, shooters don't like uncomfortableness. They can't think that they can get a shot up. There you go. There you go. Tenacious slide feet, defense slide your feet, by Karan. Slide your feet. Oh, oh travel. There we go. That's what I'm talking see? about. See? Defense. Way to slide your feet. Couple of shots here, you'll be right back in this thing. Uh oh. One possession at a time, get a they bucket don't. here. Ish comes up with the big pick up top. Ooh. A little confusion right there on that play. Baldwin slaps it. Baldwin to the with rack. the move! Gets it to go! Johnny the baller! That's his second nickname of the season. <laughs> That's how you know you're a team playing high. well. A team high. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting through the, oh. oh. Did that just look bad or something? I think so. I think that drew the call off of the looks of it. He kind of ran into him and fell. Okay, make sure you hurry up. Oh, yep, he's going to step to the line. Unfortunately, every foul at this point is a couple free throws for, uh, for the Fury. We got a replay here. Let's see look at this. Slow it up. Look at Baldwin just push off this pick. You see they try to set the screen there. Yep, he's like, nope. JB with a strong hand to the chest. That bronze pick dodger for those <laughs> 2K fans at home. Misses the first. Listen, if they're going to do that, you'll take them trips to the line. If they get one point out of possession, you'll take that. You just got to make sure you capitalize on the other end. I'm about to give them a lot of 2K badges going forward. <laughs> they're starting. They're Gaines starting. Earning some VC. Over yeah, two at the earn. line that time. Now that that's what you'll take. DJ Juvie in the corner, spinning the ones and twos, keeping oh. the energy up. Ooh. Karan tried to go hard, strong to the basket. Corrals it. Ish. Isaiah. Isaiah. Nice Good shot. Good hit in the corner. Four. Isaiah Fleming. Five. Karan Linton pressuring full court. Nope. Ooh. 
went under it. Didn't. Nope. Good poke Pokes. Lose. Make him uncomfortable, like you said, Steven. Oh, oh it's a foul. foul. He hooked him. Ishmael Smith with the tenacious defense. It's almost like they were listening to us. They, they stuck with the physicality, brought pressure to the entire court, getting the Fury upset now. I'm not going to lie to you, Josh. I don't really lie when it comes to this stuff. I try <laughs> to tell the truth. I'm just glad someone listened. When you see it, you see it, right? Exactly. Saying it, saying it is one thing. Executing is a completely different concept. Now. Beautiful job by the Vipers. Down by five with just 2.30 left here. Oh! And a Another technical foul. foul. Fury might be starting to show some cracks. Technical Ooh, foul the on the Fury. He has a signature move. <laughs> and Karan Linton. Oh, nope. Johnny Baldwin stepping to the taking line. The shots. I'm sure that was the case. I'm sure that's not something you want to say in front of the ref. That's, I'm just that's saying. A quick path to a number if, two. <laughs> if the ABA wants to jump on this, they need to include the package where we can hear the players talk, talk trash to each other because I would pay for that. I Three love the trash now and possession. of basketball. It's Vipers amazing. have a chance to tie, if not at least come within one right now. Yeah. Johnny Baldwin. It's a huge possession, or huge possession for Momentum. them. Momentum. All Vipers here in the third quarter. Swings it up top. We, Fleming. Ooh. Isaiah Fleming. Oh, draw oh, foul. another foul. Steven, I'm telling you, it's like a tale of two quarters right now. Yep. Vipers being the aggressors and capitalizing on a little bit of uh, maybe tired legs from that physicality in the first half. Still not gonna, also, just to note that it seems like whenever there's five minutes left in a quarter, the Vipers step it up. If you could time the game out and see everything, the Vipers in the last five minutes of each quarter, sensational. They're playing, and this is what you're going to need to do to win the game. And we're down by two with 2.24 left here. you got to look at it, man. This team has fought a lot of adversity the entire season, so it seems as if they've kind of adjusted to that and have stepped their game up in those pressure situations. And rebounding, like to see that. rebounding well. Down by one, 2.30 left here in the third quarter. JB on the Oh, run. JB Punch with the steal. JB. Five on the JB on the steal. Get back on defense. Ah, that's okay. That's well, okay. They recovered pretty well. You take that. It's fine. It's fine. You were feeling yourself. We're in let this that game. Happen. We're in this game. Exciting finish to the corner. I tell you what. Two minutes remaining here at John T. McGee Middle School. Karan sizing up his opponent. Oh. Timeout. Timeout, Vipers. Didn't like where that was going, so they reset the offense. That's fine. Full, he knows it. Full timeout. All right. 152 remaining here in the third period. Fury's lead has been trimmed to one. Even the Vipers snagged a the lead there for three seconds. But hey, hey, the momentum is all Vipers here. It's almost, Steven, you thought we'd have saw something like this before. Vipers came out looking a little bit sluggish in the beginning of the third, picked it up, a couple of big foul calls, some turnovers, and look at that. You are now trailing by one when you started down by, what, 15 at one point? It might have been 65, worse than that. It was 65 to 50 at yep. one point. So they've gone on a, a 14 to, to five run right now to get to this point with 152 left in the third. 19 to four. It was, no, 19, 19 to, to five. 19, 19 to, five. to five, yeah. 19 what did to I five. say, 15? Excuse yeah. me, 19 Correction. to five I'm, run. I'm, I'm shocked. It by your really Vipers Pro Basketball, led by Johnny Ironman slash Ballin Baldwin. <laughs> Isaiah Fleming on the boards doing his thing as well. Vipers offense at full throttle. Jared Foster looking for something. Oh. <laughs> he, he cleaned off his shoe like he's about to attack the rack. And another and foul, foul. On Isaiah Fleming having a huge game down low. Rebounds and getting to the line. You'd love to see that. If we can get a replay for this one, I would love to see it. It's cool. Cool. But. Isaiah cleaned off his shoe, then attacked the rack. Had to take his time. I mean, make why it count. not? Take Free your time, make good. it count. Tie ball game. Tie ball game. Because I say so. Exactly. Oh, well, no. <laughs> and second place in the team nicknames. <laughs> We're going to build up a whole catalog tonight, I tell you. Vipers back on top. 71 to 70. 
Karan sliding his feet, playing. Oh, it's oh, turnover. The cookies. Turnover. The cookies. Pull up for three. three. Oh. oh. KO three ball, with the KO. Big shot. Big shot. Four point Vipers game. Good Steven, switch. Good what switch. What we're seeing right now has just been amazing. Momentum. Travel much. Good defense. Vipers found their stride in the second half. Isaiah, Isaiah sliding to the rack. And another. Oh, no. Oh, we got an offensive foul. Got an offensive foul there. Get back defensively. Fury to inbound the ball. I'm Jimmy telling you, Miles bringing it up. One full court I'm, by Karan. I'm lock loving up, that part the most. Lock up, full court lock defense. up. Here we go. Look at Jared in the base. You'll you'll live with that. Oh, and he buried you still, it. You'll still live with it. You'll still live with it. He's missed more than he's made tonight. So. It's the lowest efficient shot in the game of basketball. The step inside the 3-2. He can have it. Karan splitting the defense. Oh, Isaiah Corral. Corral. Taking their time. Yep. Got to get. Want to get a good shot here. Johnny. Oh. Fury playing physical Johnny. defense. Spin Johnny. B. Oh. Oh. Johnny's. Oh. Karan's back. Good D. Ah. He came back. Didn't yep. give up in his own shot. Good for him. Tie game. Tie ball game. 13 and a half seconds left here in the third quarter. Vipers um, on the on the on a 24 to nine run, big swing here in the third quarter. One shot here remaining for the Vipers. 13-5 left before the start of the fourth. Vipers, Fury all tied at 74. But an incredible story to, to, for the, the ending of this quarter here. The Vipers battling back from down 15. 24-9 run to end this quarter. It was 65-50 to 50 a mere matter of moments ago. Took got a, seven, got you got to get out of it. Got to get nope. rid of it. There you go. Splits it. Oh, oh my gosh. Dishes. Oh my gosh! Oh, Nothing. you got to finish that one. When you get a chance like oh. that, you can't blow it. Pull up. Oh, off. And we end the quarter tied. Tied at 74, end of the third quarter. Vipers 74, the Fury 74. That was an emotional last five minutes of that quarter, Josh. So, 24 to nine run to end it. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Yes. Very exciting and compelling. And they did exactly what they were supposed to do. They maintained their physicality, maintained the game plan to attack the basket. They never uh, stopped moving their feet and communicating the defense. They remember they revoked our privileges. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't touch our own equipment for a while. <laughs> Not going to do nothing here. <laughs> It'll be Vipers ball to start the fourth quarter. Sideline out of bounds at half court. Fury playing aggressive defense, trying to take the Vipers out of their, their comfort zone right now. They've seen them battle back. Ball Catch in. Catch not looking. Catch him not looking. Oh, good pick, Foster. JB. Karan! Sizing him up, pull up. Karan! Karan Linton. That might have put I'm him over you, the dub mark. He had a rough game a couple of games ago. I am extremely Proud. pleased with how he's responded tonight. Yep. That's a long two. Whew. Off. Good board, Jared. Jared, Jared Foster, Foster taking it away from it 24 of the Fury. Karan, oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh. 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 Thought he was going to throw it in there. No foul, huh? Guess not. Oh. 
Yeah, that's what that guy lives for. Nope. Yeah, that is their shot. Look at that. Baldwin with Got a beautiful boxed box out by out. the little man. Baldwin. Oh. Jared Foster. Pull up. Woo! Good! Jared Foster for two. Jared Foster. 78-74 Vipers. JB with the nasty assist. Got a player bleeding right now. Uh -oh. So by rule, he's got to come out and get that tended to. Where's he bleeding? Where's he bleeding? Hand. He got back, right? All right. Here we go. Look at that. The doctor the in good the house. doctor making the house call. <laughs> and we get the player cleaned up. Get the ball cleaned up. Tell you folks. ABA is a very physical league despite the pace of play that they encourage. Laceration on the hand. For everything. Well done. Give the ball a couple of bounces and we're underway. Yeah, hey, hit it in the dirt, dry it off. <laughs> Bounce it. I think the ref just said she was worried about cooties. Oh boy. That made the broadcast. <laughs> oh, boy. Karan with the tough defense, and there you go down low. Ish. Oh. Ishmael again. Oh! Swati! Ishmael Smith. Ish nasty. Ish on the SWAT team. One of the premier defenders of our of our of our youthful squad. That's all I can say. Oh, oh my! That's the shot he lives for. Oh, oh. and Jared that's, Foster soaring. That's the moment you were waiting for right there. Was for oh, him to and struggle. And he breaks out of it. There you and go. And he's back out of it. And they By actually. the cutting ish. They, their pressure nope. at no foul, huh? Nope. Their pressure actually helped him get the ball up court before yeah. the time expired. They were so. a tad too aggressive. Yeah. Oh, JB attacking. JB attacking the rack. Johnny the Johnny Baldwin. Vipers go up by six with ten to go. Quick pull up three. Woo! Good. Devontae Jones just pulls up for three. Again, you'll take those shots, man. If, they, if a guy's going to knock a shot falling down with the hand in his face. Good for him. <laughs> Kudos, sir. <laughs> we give it to you. Johnny Baldwin. So oh, mismatch. Mismatch. JB. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Get back on defense. Oh! oh the caught it snapping. Oh, Woo! dump Push off. Back. Put it back. There it is. Put it back. There we go. Vipers being ultra aggressive on both ends, having each other's backs. There we They're go. They're feeling it tonight, Steven. They there are feeling go. it tonight. Oh, feeding the make big Make them man. earn it. They're going to make them earn it. Yeah. 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 Make them earn the it. Man puts it in for two. You're playing small right now, so you'll hey, listen. If he's gonna take those twos, you'll trade that three for that two. Yep. Attack the basket. Feed back to Baldwin. Attack the oh, ish, ish on the baseline. Ah. Nope. Can't he liked the go. shot, just didn't roll. There you go, there you go. Oh, no hesitation. Three. Cool. Good. Closes the deficit just like that. Tie ball game at 82. Oh. Okay. Uh, you, you, you'd like him to find the teammate in that moment and not force up a shot. JB oversized. Oh! Oh! Active hands. Good active hands, Johnny Baldwin. Okay, number eight. Defensive stopper. Ball. Ball. Baseline out of bounds. You hear Coach barking at Coach Washington marking out right now. Watch the corner. Number five, number three, and number one can all put up shots. The one. He did it. He heard him. Foul on the Fury. Vipers got to play with this tenacity. Again, the Fury going to make contested shots like that, okay, because when it comes down to it, you will live with that. That's all you can live with, honestly. Oh, good find. Fleming, pull up. Save. Good! Save Isaiah Fleming! 
Don't say it ain't so. Goodness gracious, Vipers back up by two. Oh. oh. Calmly let us know it's a two, we'll get it fixed. Overreacting here, everyone. Easily corrected and it's done. It's a correctable mistake. Hey, that come that came from the road team. You don't you don't expect anything less than them fight for every point they can. That's how it goes. Oh, Ish. Offensive oh, foul! Ishmael Smith. That's his third tonight. I'm gonna let you know that makes him a silver bronze charge card medalist on 2K. <laughs> There's not a doubt in my mind. Not a doubt in my mind his anymore. His BC total is rising he, by the he possession. He just earned his silver charge card, folks. <laughs> and we're not talking Visa. Oh, I say, I break him down. Float on him. Say, oh. Can't get it. Ish Ishmael. On the board. No fouls. Nothing nothing to go, I guess. It Johnny Bowen. Oh. Cookies. He's getting a little bit oh, reckless out Isaiah. here. Finish that. Oh. 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 Isaiah Fleming in transition. Interesting enough, we still got that. Oh, no. We still got that uh, injury being tended to. Just got finished at this point. 86 to 82. Immediate one of the out. key, I believe one of the keys today, before I get to my thoughts, tonight's game is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Just remember folks, eat more chicken. I mean, it's personally preference your choice, but you know, it's what Chick-fil-A does. They make great chicken, but Three charges drawn tonight by Ish Smith. Got a couple offensive rebounds. You know, things you just don't see unless you're watching tonight's game. Look at this play here we go. The replay here. Yep. Look at the rip by Johnny Baldwin. Karan right there too. This lineup's been very productive right here. Push it up. Good mix of defense, the offense, patience. athleticism. The patience. Solid size. Throw it down, big fella. And while we were on that break, the uh, the Fury sideline was a little animated there. Guys getting each other's faces, slightly letting them know, hey, we got to pick it up. Vipers are putting that pressure on them. And pressure, well, we know what that does. Do you cave or do you rise? These are the real questions. Oh, Karan, lock up. up. He's not going to get picked Cut up. around the pick. And the hand in the face. Ah. That's okay. That's the guy that they wanted to two. get that rebound. Yeah, that's a long two. That's fine. Oh, yeah, you'll take that all day, twice on Sundays. Seven minutes left. 7.15. JB. JB goes to Isaiah. Oh, Fleming. Oh. Ish, nice long two. Feeling it, hits it. Two pointer Answers by Ish. right back with another long two. Frustration rising. Frustration rising. Oh. Oh! Listen, he's he been hot. On the ground. He's been hot all night. If that's what it takes to get him off of his game, so be it. Off the Johnny Blaze with the quick hands. First free throw good. 6.47 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Fury have one shot to go, but it's a three point lead for your Vipers Pro Basketball. We have got a burn, barn burner going on right now. What an exciting game to be a part of. Yeah. Here comes Jared Foster. Yep, let's eat. I'm game. Chick fil A. Eat more chicken. Yep. Whoa, gotta get pushed. Oh, aggressive. Push. An aggressive he defense, a little bit too much. And you're starting to see that frustration on the Fury build up. You got the Fury. Oh. Ah, sloppy pass there. Oh, well, no. That's what he lives for. Nice. Nope. That's all you can ask for in that situation. That's all you can ask for in that situation. 
Viper Ball. Oh, no, wait. This man says Viper Ball. Wait, ish, wait, wait, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh. Listen, that Confusion possession again. That possession could have ended really ugly. Yep. So now have. you have to capitalize on this possession down here just to take advantage of the situation. There you go. Coach Washington barking out the commands. Very intense. Oh my God! Lane ball! Johnny the baller! It just parted like the Red Sea. Karan picks up full court. Oh, good. oh, good pass. Good feed down low. On the floor. Good foul by Ish on the ground. Got to him ahead of time. Smart defensive play. Sometimes you have to concede that. That's okay. He wasn't going to allow it to be easy. Make that's him earn fine. it. Oh, oh, that's right. They have to take it out. Exactly. This isn't the NBA. Thank you for joining us once again here at McGee Middle School. The Vipers take on the Chicago Fury. Got Joshua Buckhoff to join by Steven Ryan Jr. Oh, spin on him, why don't we? Oh my. Do we count that? Got James Rivers on the announcing and we have DJ Juvie spinning the tunes. They counted that and the foul. Oh, they gave him the and one. He knifed through there. Don't worry coach, we got you. This, this, this is what I like to call here final We got a replay here, time. look at this. Oh, this little dance. Oh, why oh. don't we travel some more? Continuation. Did he go this to is, Florida there, or what's this up? Is what I, I, this, is what I, this is what I like to call gut check time. Yep, 544 remaining. They punched you back. You got to make sure you got one more better than them. Time for the haymaker. Oh. Karan. KO! 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 Karan Linton versus... Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Way to answer. Pick up one. Full court, please. Just a slight recommendation. Him as well. Again, that looks off. There you go. You take that. You Gotta make him earn him. That's fine. Yeah. It could have been a three. Him. Yep. Waiting for his teammates to get back. Nope. Perplexed, the Fury are. Well, yeah, because the coach can tell you. Yeah. It wouldn't be a basketball game if players weren't complaining, I tell you. I, I mean, I think it's the thing. number one thing about basketball. <laughs> you got to complain. That's really why you go to see it. Who's yeah. going to be the most upset? Ish. Another Draws foul. The foul. Ishmael Smith bringing that energy off of, no, he started tonight. Excuse me. Ish did not start. He is off the bench. Okay, then I was right in the first place. Yep. That energy, man, that, that tenacious. Here we go. That never give up. Here we got attitude. a replay. Kind of slipped through the pick there and threw, and just tried to drive and wasn't even given a chance. And if you look at who's on the floor right now for the Fury, you see that the Vipers have, have successfully dictated the tempo of this game. Fury have, have had to go small to match up with them with the speed. Yep, free throw up and good for Ish Smith. Oh. oh, Karan. Yeah, make him more. Foul ah. on 12. Sliding his feet. Sliding his feet. That's good D. That's good D. Ooh, ooh he's, ooh. Ish is kind of like a gnat down there. Man, he's just right there in your ear. Yep. Got to have some help on that one. Somebody's got to see that coming and, and rotate down for him. One point game with 4.30 remaining here in the fourth. One advantage the Fury do have is they have a little bit more size on the floor right now. Ah. Oh. Foul on Johnny Baldwin. The team fifth, team's fifth foul. A couple away from the bonus here. But Devontae basket. Jones will be stepping to the line. I tell you, this back and forth is exactly, this is how this game should finish. How this game should be played all the time. 
Number one was 0 for 2 last time at the line. Clank. Starts off 0 for 1 this time. I mean, sometimes you're just rattled. He was cramping up in the first half. And surprisingly, they haven't been overly physical with him to try to test how, how healthy he really is. Exhaust him. Yeah. That's what I have. Oh, Rolls for two out. again. That could be huge. Karan, foul. Draws the foul. Fury are getting a little handsy down there. They're getting greedy for the ball. Foul on number one. Vipers ball, baseline out of bounds. And again, another opportunity here for the Vipers to capitalize. Woo! Well, that was just that. I'll tell you what, up. Isaiah Fleming is just a, a cowboy a out there, rodeo. He's a freak. Man. Not gonna lie. Long oh, Karan. Oh my. Quick trigger. Ah. Short. Oh, oh, and the rebound. Yes, reset. Oh, ooh, Johnny, look for it. Oh, ish. Ishmael. Got that free throw. Ooh. Oh, Another. Jared Foster could not corral it. Got hit in the head. Out of bounds. Tipped away by Ish. Good defense. And a media timeout with 3.48 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Vipers 94, the Fury 93. It'll be Fury ball, sideline out of bounds. Josh, what are you looking forward to here in the last three minutes, last four minutes? More of the same that we've seen in the, the latter part of the third quarter and for most of this fourth quarter, the Vipers being aggressive, uh, rotating well on defense and, and just being in their hip pockets at all times. One of the biggest things that we've seen change from earlier is uh, that we pointed out, those contested shots aren't falling anymore. And now you see that they were having, how much trouble they're actually having getting guys open for good looks. Meanwhile, the Vipers are continuing to get good looks, continuing to get to the basket, and now those shots that were rolling off are now falling in. Yep, you got it. So it will be Fury Ball, sideline out of bounds. Again, plenty of time. Couple opportunities for the Vipers there to take, you know, extend the lead, just couldn't do it. But like you said, this is crunch time, grind time, rise time. It's, they gotta get it done. Let's get our first home victory of the season. And I'm sure if you ask any player on either team, this is, they wouldn't have it any other way than what it is right now. Yep. This is what the game's all about. Good, tough out. Good Isaiah. They're trying to trap. Nope. Picked up his dribble. Somebody come help him. Good job. Oh my God. What a tip. What a tip. He needs help. Foul. Foul on number one. Team sixth. Both teams are approaching the bonus here. So keep being aggressive, especially if they're gonna be aggressive. The Vipers gotta be wary of that trap. You yep. come on at any moment, so they gotta have somebody in the vicinity to come and help out. That man gets cornered. See the, the Fury went mostly with length right now on the floor. Yep. Good pass. Oh. The idea was right. Yep. Get back. Got to get back because they're up the floor. Good, Good defense. Good defense. They've got to recover there. Don't read. They're just surveying the floor. Oh, he just, oh, that lane Short. opened up. I don't think he knew what to do with all of that space. Oh. And it's blocked. Oh, oh foul on the three. That is not what you like to see. Ah. No. That's when that length of Isaiah Fleming comes back to bite you slightly. Just a little bit. So Devontae Jones steps to the line for three free throws.
gets the first one to go. Said he's not going to go over two, three times in a row. Can we drop this second one, though? Get out of there. One for his last six. Whew. Vipers got to make sure if he misses this one, they get that box out, get that rebound. Very critical. Fury send a man to the backcourt to watch for the leak out. Wait, what, 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 what? Why is he going again? Whoa, Whoa that was his third. You got to call it, though. So apparently there was a lane violation, and so he gets the third free throw. That was never announced. Yeah, that could have been brought to our attention. That would be great. All right, Vipers now facing some adversity late in the game, down by four. JB, Baldwin. quick shot, a little too quick. Oh, but he Gets makes up for it. All right, Johnny. Johnny Ball was sizing up the defense. Karan uh, cannot get it to go. Just Gotta short. Save. Like the Vipers got to make sure not to get out of themselves and start becoming yep. a jump shooting team. They need to keep attacking the basket and keep playing that tough defense because you see what happens. Ooh. He got fouled. Not he got a fouled. Late foul call. He got him on the wrist. So Devontae Jones bonus. steps to the line. Four, three. First free throw, good. All right. We know his his, trouble, his troubles at the line tonight are well documented. At this point, I'm just trying to put the kibosh on it. Yeah. Two. Well, ever since that quote unquote lane violation. Yeah, the, the phantom call. Literally, like I didn't even hear a thing. I'm pretty sure they never announced it, but they, it took place. However, I will say the players didn't look as surprised as we did. Yeah. He hits all three this time. A seven point game. 154 left. This is it, fellas. Yep. We need a bucket. And the foul drawn. Takes it strong to the rack. This is where you like to see the Vipers press up and get that light going. You got a replay here. Strong take. Breaking him down. Good hezzy. Just gets swiped on the upper body. Ah, rimming out. It happens. It, it happens. It really Too much does. time right now to get <clears throat> get overly excited and start doing things you're not comfortable with. So Vipers need to make sure that this take this opportunity to regroup. Settle down a little bit. One position at a time still. Get a stop here. One oh one ninety five. Ah, strong to the rack. Juan getting back going. That is not what you want to see. Eight point game. JB with the three. Oh, right back. Nice shot. Fleming throws Ooh, the it in. Contact. Down by six. Got to get it back. Stay aggressive. He's not shooting that. Keep your hands up. Say you're lucky to get away with no, no call right there. Got a little bit handsy. Ishmael. Good dump off. Oh my gosh. No, hold They're not, they got to get. They got to get active. You got. You got to get these boards here. You getting letting them get these second chance opportunities. Letting them run this clock out. Oh, go. oh, oh. Jump ball. Jump ball. Jump ball. Okay, flip the arrow. All right, 
flip. Oh, oof, gotta be ready for I that. I thought Isaiah he was hogging that, that one. He lobbed in that one. Oh, oh, uh -huh. oh, oh. They called a foul? Foul on wow. Isaiah. Wow, they're just looking for him at this point. They're just calling him at this point. Sending them back to the line. Zaya Fleming with seven fouls right now. In the ABA, you do not foul out. No, you don't. You automatically get free throw shots depending on who the person is. Once they get, once they get over the, the amount. Confusion setting in at the end of this game. Things getting tight, both on the floor and on the sidelines. Trying to get an explanation right now as to what's going on with the foul situation. Huh? Isaiah's been active tonight, that's one way to put it. That's for sure. Isaiah, Isaiah. So we're all baffled at what's going on here. No, like, like I said, in the ABA, once you get over the sixth foul, you start getting free throws based off of your uh, your your number from there on. You no longer you can't foul out in the ABA. Yeah. So why are they pulling them? Because that's an automatic shot every time, no matter if it's on the floor or not. Regardless, they're in the bonus. Yeah, they would be going right. still, but you don't want to have that guy on there because clearly they're calling a lot of fouls on him and they drew. Oh. So is it a technical foul? Because that's what it's seeming. It's the tech. Oh, boy. We are baffled here at John T. McGee Middle School. Uh, so, uh, free throws will be shot, but when and where? I do not know. Coaches. Both sides. Lift. Six-point game. Oh, steal. Fouled much? Karan Linton for Quarter three. three. Oh. Oh. Ah, that's not what you needed right there. That was that was a big possession. Oh, Good Karan. steal. 20 seconds. No. Oh, my. <laughs> Sloppy play. Good turnovers. Yeah. Three shots. Shooting three oh. shots. The foul's right there. Just as we're talking about, that 3D light, man, can make you or break you. Didn't even know that was possible in this situation. They never signaled for it. First free throw, good. Not looking good right now. For the Vipers. 97 to 104. Confusing last two minutes of this whole game. Man, a lot of commotion going on. Well, that sounds about right with these two teams. Man. Vipers will see them again, I believe, on Valentine's Day. Here at John T. McGee right. Middle School. 
The saga continues. This was a this was a game where fouls caught up to him. Yep. Board corralled. Eight point game, 20 seconds left on the clock. Looking dire here, folks. Ishmael for ah. three, short. Somebody got to come back for that ball. Oh my. Well, that's what he does. Let him think about it. I like the decision. That's game. Yep. Good rebound. And here at John T. McGee. We have two. our final. The final score. Chicago Fury 105, your Vipers Pro Basketball 97. Co complicated last few minutes there, Josh. <laughs> what are your final thoughts on this game? I think that the calls got to one team more than the other. Uh, we had, had a solid run. Fury never gave up. You got to give them commitment for that. And, and Vipers are going to take this one. I'm sure they're going to remember this for Valentine's Day. It's only a few weeks away. Only a few weeks away. You'd hate to see a game that, that really gets decided so so heavily by free throws. And refs. And refs. But you take it and you, you do what you got to do. So that will do it for us here. Thanks for tuning into the Cube. Have a good one.